I am Anil Kumar sharing with you two very important questions from competitive exams point of view. In this particular video, we will understand strategy of solving such questions. So we have two questions here which is 1 minus half times 1 minus 1 over 3 times 1 minus 1 over 4 like this till 1 minus 1 over 9. Now we can actually extend this to any numbers. So I have taken the same series here, written the same series extended to n and we will also talk about what happens when n approaches infinity. right? So that gives you a complete concept on this kind of questions. Now question number 2 here is that we are subtracting now reciprocal squares. So 1 minus 1 over 2 square times 1 minus 1 over 3 square till 1 minus 1 over 9 square which we are going to extend to 1 minus 1 over n square and we'll also see the result what happens when n approaches infinity. That's the whole idea. And I hope these strategies will help you to answer questions quickly. Now we do have solutions for these quick answer for this is is 1 over 9 and the quick answer for this is 5 over 9 right okay anyway let's see how do we get such answers now in the very first one which is 1 minus half times 1 minus 1 over 3 and so on what we can do here is we can simplify each fraction Taking common denominator, which is 2 in this case, we get 2 minus 1. And here the common denominator is 3. We get 3 minus 1. Here the common denominator is 4. We get 4 minus 1. And so on. Then we get common denominator 8, 8 minus 1. And then 9, 9 minus 1. So that gives you 1 over 2, right? 1 over 2. This gives you 3 minus 1 as 2 over 3. And then we get 3 over 4. And so on. One number is lower, numerator, 1 less than the denominator. So here we get 7 over 8. So on. I mean, this, this is the next one. So let me write here as 8 over 9. So from this series, you can easily see that we can cancel out these numbers, kind of like this, right? So it goes up to n. So what are we left with? This 7 will get cancelled with that 7. We get 1 over 9 as our result. So we get 1 over 9 as our result. So as a trick, you can say, well, the answer is 1 over 9. Perfect. Now, let us see what happens when we extend our series instead of 1 over 9 if I continue this to 1 minus 1 over n then what happens then obviously what we are going to get is 1 over n as our answer correct so that is our answer when the series is extended to n numbers and now tell me what happens when n is approaching infinity well, if n is approaching infinity, then series will be approaching 0, right? So that is how you could actually answer this question with different kind of variations, right? Now, let us look into the second series, which is 1 minus 1 over 2 square times 1 minus 1 over 3 square times 1 minus 1 over 4 square, so on, right? We'll also extend this series to uh, 1 minus 1 over n minus 1 whole square till 1 minus 1 over n square. Correct. So we'll see all the results and then lastly we'll also consider the case when n approaches infinity. Now to solve this series you can do the same method as we did earlier however there is a better option. Now let's look into the better option which is to use difference of square formula. If you have a square minus b square, you could always write this as a minus b times a plus b. Correct. So here you can see we have 1 square minus half square, 1 square minus 1 over 3 square and so on. 
And therefore, we can actually write these terms as 1 minus half times 1 plus half. So that is the first term, right? The second term could be written as 1 minus 1 over 3 times 1 plus 1 over 3. Next term could be written as 1 minus 1 over 4 times 1 plus 1 over 4, so on. So first we'll work for just 9 numbers. And this could be written as 1 minus 1 over 8 times 1 plus 1 over 8. And then we have 1 minus 1 over 9 times 1 plus 1 over 9. Now, what is 1 minus half? 1 minus half is half. Now, here you get 2 plus 1, 3 over 2. So, we get 3 over 2. Here you get 3 minus 1, which is 2 over 3. And then we get 3 plus 1 as 4 over 3. 4 minus 1 is 3, so we get 3 over 4. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 over 4, and so on. And here we get 8 minus 1 is 7, 7 over 8. So 1 less and 1 more, 9 over 8. 1 less, 8 over 9, and 1 more, 10 over 9. Do you see that? So we kind of get product of these fractions. You will see that 3 over 2 is being followed by 2 over 3. So this number cancels and you get 1, correct? Similarly, 4 over 3 and 3 over 4 when multiplied gives you 1. So likewise, this will give you 1. Number before will give it 1, right? So, so likewise, what you notice is this will also give you 1. What are you left with? Ultimately, you will be left with the first number, which is half, times the last number, which is 10 over 9. And that is indeed equal to 5 over 9, correct? So that is your final result, correct? Now, let us look into the option where if we extend it to n numbers, right? So when extended to n numbers, then what happens? In that case, the last number is 1 over n square. So instead of 9, we'll get half of, instead of 10 over 9, we'll get n plus 1 over n, correct? We'll get half of n plus 1 over n. So that becomes the final result when we are considering up to n. Now the variation. What happens when n approaches infinity? What result do you expect? Well, if n approaches infinity, we could rewrite this as, we could rewrite this as half over, let me take n common, n common, we get 1 plus 1 over n over n, correct? Now, half and half, half times n and n cancel, and what do you get? You get half times 1 plus 1 over n. Now, if n approaches infinity, then 1 over n approaches 0, and therefore, we get half times 1, which is half as our result. So, for n approaching infinity, the result will be half, correct? Result will be half. So that is how we can actually understand this series. I hope it helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe, that'll be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.